Greetings, young men. This is Principal Cafele. I'm sitting here on a balcony. I'm on a cruise ship. It's in the middle of the summer. I'm here on the island of Aruba. Just taking it down with the fam. Enjoying some time off from the work. But let me tell you something, young men. Although I'm taking it down, in all actuality, the work doesn't end. I'm not traveling, but my mind is on the travel. My mind is on the work. My mind is on message to your son. My mind is on you. So with that said, I got a brief message from up here on the balcony, on the cruise ship on the island of Aruba, out here in the Caribbean. And that message is, life will have its ups and downs. Once again, life will have its ups and downs. What am I saying? I'm saying to you, as I've said over 175 times in previous Message to Your Son videos, that when you work toward achieving the goal, when you walk in your purpose, when you step into your passion and do all the things that are expected of you, including your plan, walking in that plan, there are times when life's just not going to be the way you want it to be. You plan for one thing and something else happened. Well, the question to you is, how are you going to deal with the ups and downs of life? I've spoken in a previous Message to Your Son video about setbacks and how you approach setbacks when things are not going the way you want it to go and you've got this temporary setback. Well, comparable to the setback is the ups and downs of life. And see, as, as good as things can be, there will be those times when they're just not going the way that you planned it to be. And I don't mean in terms of you making bad moves. I mean no fault of your own, just the cards didn't line up the way you wanted them to line up. So I'm saying to you, you got to prepare for that. You've got to be mentally prepared for the ups and downs of life. My life doesn't go the way I want it to go every day. There are things that happen. I mentioned in a previous video, I'll mention it again here. I'm standing on a stage on May 1st giving a presentation to about 200 educators in, in Miami, Florida, the University of Miami, and suffered a heart attack on stage in the middle of the speech. Main artery clogged 100%. Doctors said to me that I was lucky to be alive once they finished the procedure of giving me an angioplasty. That means opening up the artery and inserting what's called a stent to keep it open. They said to me, the majority of the people that have a heart attack by way of a 100% blockage of the main artery do not make it. Most people do not make it. So therefore, I'm having a great day that day, May 1st, 2015. I'm getting ready to speak at the U, the University of Miami. I'm pumped, I'm excited, I'm on fire, and bam, I have a heart attack and nearly die. So I'm saying that I'm giving you an extreme example of life is full of ups and downs. It happens. But the thing is, I didn't stay in that hospital bed long and I didn't stay in my own bed long. I found, I learned from the doctor what I needed to do to get myself right. He said, I got to take the medication. Fine. I take it every day. He said, you got to change your diet. Fine. It's changed drastically. He said, you got to exercise every day. You got to hit the treadmill and the exercise bike every day. Fine. Every hotel I'm in, when I'm out on the road speaking, I'm in an exercise room. When I'm home, I go to the gym. I've lost a lot of weight over the time so that I can do the things that I do, so that I can continue to be me, so I can continue to live life the way I know it, which is running around the country, different parts of the world, speaking, training, educators, parents, talking to young people about the things that I discuss as it relates to education. So again, life is full of ups and downs, but, but, but the question is, how will you respond to the ups and downs? I responded to mine. I was near death, but I'm back out, back out here on the road, big time, full time, getting it done. I'm not going to let anything stop me. I'm not going to let anyone stop me. The only thing that can stop me is death itself. And obviously I overcame a near-death experience. So I'm saying to you, 
with less of an extreme that you've got to plan as best you can for the ups and downs of life you would you have got to be ready for whatever comes your way you can't let the downs of life destroy you you can't let them push you down on your backside and you stay on your backside for life you have got to anticipate whatever you've got to be mentally prepared for whatever you have got to stand up on your feet as soon as you get knocked down and you're ready to rise to an even higher level but you're always prepared you're always anticipating the various different ups and downs of life enough said young men let's go let's do it let's get it done let's make it happen this is principal kafele thanks for listening peace